What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with Flamigo in ranked regulation G. Now, typically, when you see Flamigo on the rank ladder, it is usually rocking the Ghost Star ability. But on today's scene, we are using Scrappy to allow close combat to hit ghost type Pokemon such as Shadow Rider Calyrex. Hopefully, we get to use this Pokemon to its fullest potential, and hopefully we can grab some wins for you guys. But let's talk about Flamigo a little bit more. It is a flying and fighting type. This one's rocking the Ghost Terror type with Scrappy as its ability, like we already mentioned, and the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Faint, it's got Close Combat, it's got Wide Guard, one of the best supporting moves in all of Regulation G. And last but not least, it's got Endeavor to pair up with that Focus Sash. Works super well. Our restricted Pokemon on today's scene going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex. Cannot go wrong with this guy. This thing hits like a truck. It's super fast at the same time. One of the best restricted Pokemon in this format. It's got As One with a clear amulet, Astral Barrage, Draining Kiss, Protect, and Substitute. Our final four Pokemon on today's team going to be Incineroar, Clefairy, Ndidi, and Ogre Pond. Clefairy and Ndidi there for big time support. Incineroar are going to be there for fake outs and snarls, intimidates, all that good stuff. And Ogre Pond, just going to be another big time physical attacker for team to help us pick up some damage. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. Moving on to our first match for today's video. And the team that we are showcasing today was made by my boy Pokeberm. Pokeberm, huge shout out to you. If you guys want to check out his channel or this team in more depth, make sure you head down in the description below. We will have the Poke Base and a link to Pokeberm's channel. But we're going up against a pretty cool team. Talonflame, Groudon, Doxpun, which you, that's a combo right there. And then on top of that, they got Electivire and... What is that Pokemon? Wellspring Ogre Pond. So, I mean, Chiyu Doxpun combo is kind of looking scary because it is it could go into Lava Plume, get the Well-Baked Body, get the Defense Boost, and then kind of just go into Body Press from there. So, that is a little scary. I mean, we could go into the Horse Turn 1 here and maybe just start going into Follow these. That's not a bad play for us. I don't mind Intimidating either, but again, if they go into Chiyu and Doxpun, then we can have a little bit of an issue. So, I might just go into the Horse, and I might go into Indeedee on top of that, right? Indeed, or Clefairy. Clefairy might be a little bit better here, especially if they're going for double hitting moves. Clefairy could just, you know, go follow me. We might be able to set up this uh, this substitute and then kind of get going from there. But we will bring Flamigo in the back end. And then last but not least, uh, Wellspring Ogre Pond looking rather well here, right? Wellspring Ogre Pond looking great. I mean, I know that they're probably going to have sun for a lot of the match, so my, my water moves aren't going to hit as hard, but I just like it here. Actually, I'd rather go Incineroar. We're going to go Incineroar. They got a lot of physical attackers. Incineroar would look well. I was going to go into Ogre Pond, but then realizing the sun. Yeah, I mean, Horn Leech going to be good up against Groudon. But that's pretty much it. I mean, Ivy Cudgel going to get like half damage due to the sun. It's just not that good. It's just not that good. But we're looking to use Flamigo here. We have him in the back end. We're going to see who they throw out here. It's going to be Talonflame Chi, which I don't mind. I mean, I could swap to Incineroar here. They could go for double heading moves. They could go for Tailwind. I mean, we should maybe set up a substitute. That Chiyu might be choice. That Chiyu might be choice. That Chiyu might be choice. I might just go into follow me. And then just go into Astro Barrage here. I could Terra Fairy here if I want to as well. But I mean, Astro Barrage isn't going to do anything crazy. But I just still like this damage that I can do. Because yeah, you probably you got to be going for Tailwind here. You got to be going for Tailwind. I could go for that sub. I could sub up. I think I am going to sub up. I am going to go for a sub here. We're going we're to try to pull it out here. So he ends up protecting Shiyu. That's pretty good for me. That's pretty good. So he protects Shiyu. Good thing we swapped into sub here. Sub is going to be great. So now I can do that. He can go into his tailwind. That's totally fine. We get off a substitute. And we can waste out a few turns here as well. So substitute is here. I could life do next turn if I want to. Um, I could follow me if I want to. Got a lot of different options. Got a lot, of, a lot of different options. I could go into Helping Hand here. What do I want? Do I want the Helping Hand boost? Kind of. A little bit. Do I want to go for Follow Me? I think I'd rather go for Follow Me and try to keep this sub up. So I'm going to go Follow Me. I'm just going to throw an Astro Barrage. Try Nasty Pot at this point, right? If I had Nasty Pot here, I could just Nasty Pot behind the sub. Go plus two, no problem. They do have some speed cooking though due to Tailwind, but... I think we should be fine. He ends up with Strolling Talon Talonflame, and this looks like you're going to go into Dock Spun, right? Yep, Dock Spun, you're going to go for Lava Plume. Hopefully, my sub could eat up. Hopefully, my sub can eat up. Follow me was kind of a waste of a turn. We should have went for Life Dew that turn. Should have went for Life Dew. So, there goes the Lava Plume. Soak it up. 
I need you soaking up, Calyrex. I need you to keep that sub. Keep that sub. Substitute takes damage. Does it fade? It fades. Man, I really wanted it. I really wanted it, but that wasn't a bad turn. That bought us a shot there. So Astrobrash can now fly. Bop, 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 bop. How much damage are we doing? Great damage onto Dox Bun. Lovely damage onto Dox Bun. All right. So from here, do we go for Life Dew? Because Dox Bun's really here to maybe pop a Heat Wave. It could pop a Heat Wave. I think we might just want to like Moon Blast Dox Bun down, see how much damage we can do, and then just protect this turn. I'm cool with this because I think you got to be going after Calyrex. Plus, we can waste out some Tailwind turns. That could help us out tremendously. All right. So we'll protect our Calyrex here. Got to be going after it at this point. And we're going to try to Moon Blast down this Dox Bun. This very annoying Dox Bun. Very annoying. Did I, did I mention this thing's very annoying? He can just body press me up. He ends up withdrawing Dox Bun. Okay. That's fine. Wow, that was a turn to just attack. And he's going to go into Groudon. So Groudon flies through here. He could be going for Prisipice Blades. I mean, I could swap into Scrappy Flamigo. Which wouldn't be a bad play. And he's just going to Tarrasalize Shiyu. That's fine. You're going to go into Fire? Look, to just get rid of me? Is that your play? Gotta go into Stellar. Oh. Whoa. Calm it down there. Calm it down there, Chiyu. Knock it off. Knock it off there, Chiyu. So I end up protecting the horse here. Not a bad play for us. Um, He's going to end up going for a Heat Wave. And I'm curious to see if Clefairy soaks this or not. I don't think you do, Clefairy. In the sun, it's just not the game. You do soak it, dude. This Pokemon's so bulky. Moonblast can now fly. Do about negative five. And honestly, that probably would have killed Doxbun. But now from here, he's definitely going for double hitting moves. Heat Wave. Mm. Heat Wave and what's called is looking scary. We gotta waste out these Tailwind turns. Heat Wave and Blaze is just looking terrifying. So I am gonna go into you. I'm gonna use your Focus Ash onto Shadow Rider Calyx, right? And honestly, let's just go for Life Do if we can. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go into Scrappy Flamigo. I feel like you have to be going for Blades here. I feel like you have to be going for Blades. You have to be going for Blades. So I'm going to swap to Flamigo, hopefully dodge that, and then take some damage from Heat Wave. Waste out these Tailwind, and then kind of go from there. And you end up just hard swapping. I mean, that's fine. You're going to go back into Talonflame? No, you go back into Doxbone. So you go back into Doxbone, which isn't bad. You end up just so or eating up a berry, because now my Calyrex is off the field. Okay. That's not bad. You're going for another Heat Wave, Lava Plume. Yep, Lava Plume's going to be in play. Full Big Body's going to give it a nice little defense boost. And now Tailwind should be good. Which, I mean, now's a good time for me to bring out my... Now's a good time for me to bring out my Calyrex here. Of course I get burned. Never mind. This sucks, man. Why are you getting burned, Flamigo? I just wanted to use my Focus Ash, and we could have been thriving. Now I had to use my Burn, or now my Flamigo dies out to this Burn. And this is not looking good, but I still have Calyrex. I still have Incineroar in the back end. I don't mind that. I can fake out this turn if I want to. Cool. All right, so let's get it. Place this thing on the left. Place you on the right. This is terrible. Why does this have to happen? Um, I could fake out. I can reach you protecting and honestly just go into a... I can honestly just go into another substitute, which would be in my best interest. And I am going to do that. I am so doing that. I have to make a play here. I have to make a play here. Yeah, we're going to go into substitute here. I could just fake out the, uh, the Chiyu, but I'm just going to fake out Dox one because I think Chiyu protects. Yep, awesome call on Aaron. Great call on Aaron. Puts us right back in this match. Puts us right back in this match. Because now they don't have Tailwind. Fake Out's going to fake out the Docs when you can't body press me. I set up a substitute with my Calyrex. And now my Calyrex is fast on the field, which is gorgeous. It's lovely. Great play on Aaron. Now I can just go into a Astro Barrage. And on top of that, go for this Flare Blitz into this slot. I mean, Flare Blitz is going to do more damage than anything else. So we're just going to do that. Look to rip up, up against this thing. Not bad plays for us. Not bad plays for us. Especially if we can keep our sub here. If we can keep our sub, that is massive. That is massive. They still have ground on, but this is not looking good for us. I would have loved to keep my Flamigo. They're going to hard swap into most likely Talonflame here. No, you're going to go into ground on, which isn't bad for us. I mean, you're ground typing. We can do some nice time damage. Doxbun's going to take damage here. Doxbun's actually going to die here, right? Groudon's going to take a nice chunk of damage. Can Flare Blitz in the sun KO Groudon? That'd be amazing. That would be amazing. 
if we pick up a KO here. Because now my Calyx is plus one on special attack. Flare Blitz coming in hot. How much damage are we doing? One HP. Get on out my face with this. Get on out my face with this. Luckily, my Calyrex still outspeeds, which is good. They're going to go into Talonflame at this point. But the good news about Talonflame, or the good news about our Calyrex here is, I can just go into an Ash Barrage and pick up a double KO. Right? Is that right? Because they're going to they're forced to go into Tailwind. Because if you don't go Tailwind, I outspeed. If you don't go Tailwind, I outspeed. I still have Terror too, which is awesome. And now would be the time to use Terror because I would think you would go for Blades, if anything. I have to go Grass Terror. I have to go Grass Terror here. I have to go Grass Terror. I have to go Grass Terror. I have to. As much as I don't want to because Chiyu is in the back. I just feel as if you go for Tailwind with Talonflame, which I think you're going to do. Then you can outspeed Groudon here. Or Groudon outspeeds my Calyrex and stuff. Then you're going to go for Blades and I can KO Incineroar, which I don't want happening. So I, I, I need to Terrasilize Grass here. It's just a must for me. It's an absolute must. You don't even outspeed, so we didn't even have to Terrasilize. Okay, cool. I mean, that, that works fine because now I should pick up a double KO here. Which I do. And now I still have Calyrex with my substitute plus... Three. So we're gonna win this match regardless. Our, our scrappy flamigo didn't do much, got burned early on here to the lava plume. But still great reads from us, reading protects, faking out the dock spun at the right time, and setting up substitute with Shadow Rider Kylerx. Gonna win us this match, no problem. No problem. So just a bad terror on our end. Honestly, not a bad terror, but now it's a bad terror. It was good in the moment, because I just didn't want that crowd on outspeed and dropping blades and KO in my Incineroar. It just wouldn't have worked out here. But now my Kylerx has substitute. It should be able to deal enough damage here and pick up a KO. Now, Astro Barrage, what's going to do more? Astro Barrage or Draining Kiss? Astro Barrage is base 120 with Stab, but it's not very effective. So if I do the math in my head, it should be around... Actually, it still should do more damage than whatever he has to offer. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to go into a Snarl if I can. I'd like to just lower your special attack and see how, see how we can do here. Slav Plume's going to fly here and Incineroar still soaks that, which is good news. And my sub feeds. Alright, so we're going to win this one regardless. Because now I'm going to be able to snarl. Astro Barrage, how much damage are you doing? You're plus three on attack. So I still think this KO is going to choose a lightweight. And it does. Cool. So that's going to be the game. Calyrex clutching up for us. We end up starting off today's video 1-0. Moving on to our second match. And I would love to use Flamigo a bit more here. In that last match, we send it out. We wanted to just take a shot with Focus Ash. It did, but then, of course, they got the burn with Lava Plume, and it didn't work out in our favor, but we still ended up winning the match, which is great. We're going up against Amy Ride on team here in match number two with Chiyu, with Iron Tusk, for Rigoraf, Tornadus, and last but not least, they do have Urshfu. Who should we play? How should we lead this one? I mean, me right on looking rather scary. Just such a strong Pokemon all around. And we don't have... Oh, actually, we do. I was going to say, we don't have a way of terrain control, but we have our Indeedee, which we're definitely going to want to bring here. Now, do I lead Indeedee? Maybe? Honestly, don't mind leading. I could bring it in the back end, but I, I think leading Indeedee is going to be pretty good for us. So I'm going to lead Indeedee here. I'm going to get after it. And I think I'm going to go in with the horse here, right? Go back in with Calyrex. Maybe try to set up substitute if we can. Bring Flamigo in the back end. I do like that. And then last but not least, probably either go Incineroar or Ogre Pond. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to do that. And last but not least, is Ogre Pond or Incineroar? Looking at their team, I mean, they have a few physical attackers. I mean, it's going to be Iron Tusk and... Urshfu. Urshfu, I don't really count as a physical attacker that much. Well, it is a physical attacker, but Intimidates don't really work too well on it because of Surging Strikes or Wicked Blow. So I think we want to go into the Ogre Pond here. I like Ogre Pond. I do like Ogre Pond. I just love its typing of grass and water. It's just so good. It's just so wonderful. So we're wanting to know, looking to use our Scrappy Flamigo a little bit more here and try to Drop some close combat, some feints, even wide guards if we have to. Because, I mean, Blink One Storm is going to be a problem for us. Um, You could be rocking Discharge maybe, right? Discharge on the uh, the Mirada next to the Iron Tusk. That does make sense. But they're going to end up leading Farigarath and Urshifu here. Now, we could pop Imprison here. Imprison is not a bad play for us. That's going to be Water Urshifu. We could Imprison. We could Sub as well if we want to. Imprison Sub could be our play. I mean, Sub... It's going to be okay here. 
I don't really want to protect. Um, what do I want to do here? I'd rather follow me, if anything. But I'm going to imprison Trick Room turn one. I just don't want to pop in that. And I could Terra and just, like, Drain and Kiss here and just look to KO. That's not bad. A Terra Drain and Kiss. How much damage is that really going to do? We could just go into Astro Barrage. Hmm. A Terra Drain and Kiss will do more damage than the, uh, the Astro Barrage. Is that what I want to do here? Yeah, you know, we're going to do it. We're going to do that. We're going to imprison. We're going to go for Terra Drain and Kiss. He's going to withdraw Urshu. Man, that hurts his soul. That hurts his soul. Who are you going to go into? Can I at least do some damage with this Terra Drain and Kiss? It's going to be the Tusk. So this seems like it's got to be Trick Room, right? This seems like it's got to be Trick Room. You're withdrawing that Urshu. I really wanted that Terra Drain and Kiss. It could have been big for us. You know what would have been big, bigger? A substitute pop there. I should have sub pop, dude. Substitute's awesome. Especially when he set it up like we did in that last match. It's just so good being able to soak up shot. The Draining Kiss going to fly here. We're really hoping they're going for Trick Room as well, just so we can waste our turn. The Draining Kiss doing about negative 5 damage on that thing. The Prison comes out here, making me think you're going for Trick Room here, right? Yep, cool. So we seal off Trick Room. So we sealed off Trick Room. I think now is not a bad turn to go into, like, full Nego here. Because you might just end up hard swapping. And I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to throw an Astro Barrage. Alright, so we'll hard swap. We will get our Flamigo out here. We should have some speed up against these guys. And hopefully they're swapping for a Graph. Or even just like protecting for a Graph. Just something like that. Could be really nice for us. So Flamigo going to fly through here. Let's see what they end up doing. They're just going to end up staying in here. We go for an Astro Barrage. Should be able to chuck up some nice damage onto this Tusk. The question is how much damage? Enough damage. That's massive. So now we got Flamigo next to my Shadow Rider Calyrex. Let's see what they end up doing with Farigoraph here. He's going to go for a foul play into Flamigo, which is okay. We soaked that pretty well. And I should have some speed cooking here. Now, if they go back into me, or if they go into me right on and take uh, control, then we're just going to have to swap somebody, which is probably going to have to be Flamigo, right? Yeah, we're going to swap Flamigo, take terrain, and kind of go from there, right? Yep, that's in our best interest. As much as I want to just stay in here with Flamigo and attack, we have to take terrain control right now. We need terrain control right now. So Flamigo, we're going to swap you out here. We're going to go right into Indeedee. Get this terrain back. And, I mean, we might as well throw an Astro Barrage. Or do we go Draining Kiss here? Miradon doesn't outspeed me. We're plus one. We might as well just go for a, what's it called? We might as well go for an Astro Barrage. It's going to do more damage. Especially if they swap. Astro Barrage plus one is going to be good. You might Terrasilize as well. So, let's swap in, in Indeedee. Take away his terrain. Give me that terrain. So, I, I knew Indeedee would be a must here. I mean, anytime you're going up against Amy Rhydon team, I feel like you have to, if you have a terrain Pokemon, you have to just take terrain whenever you can. But yeah, there goes the Terra. Good thing we didn't go into Terrain and Kiss. And he's going to go into straight Fairy. So maybe we should have went into Terrain and Kiss. It's funny. But this is good for us. We don't mind this. We still have Flamigo in the back end. They could pop Trick Room now, can they, since we swapped their Imprisoned Pokemon? Is that a correct statement? Could they could they uh, pop it now? But Astro Barrage still does nice damage onto me right on. Left your Drift going to fly through here. We should be able to soak this, no problem. Not no problem, but we still soak it. And he's going to go for a second and double into this DD slot. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. So now the real question is, are we still imprisoned on the field? Because if not, I'm going to have to imprison right now. No, we're not imprisoned. We're going to imprison here. We're going to imprison yet again. I could just go for follow me if I want to. But, I mean, imprison is definitely going to be our best play. I'm going to imprison. I am going to go into a Drain Kiss, look to get back some HP. Let's KO this me right on. But he withdraws here. Every time we go for Drain Kiss, he just attacks me. He just attacks me this way. Or he doesn't attack me. He swaps into uh, the Tusk. Oh, it's actually not the Tusk. That works ten times better. I forgot. We took we take a, we, or we took out the Tusk already, so we just take out Urshku now. That's going to be game. So match number two, going to us. We still haven't really used Scrappy for Mingo that much, but still, this team is dominating. And my Calyrex is almost up to full HP. It's one HP away, which is hilarious. And let's see. Are you going to go for a Trick Room again? I think you're going for a Trick Room, which we just imprisoned. So we were just all over our opponent this match. Now you're going to go for a Psychic, which we... Now, so awesome. Game set match. You can't set Trick Room. I can just follow me out. Thanks for playing. GG's to our opponent. They're just going to cancel the match, I think. 
They actually do get their terrain back out, but I mean, it's a little late for that. Because now I can just follow me, protect these Calyrex, and go for another Astro Barrage. And just finish off their Miraidon. So, they cancel the match. We are 2-0 in the third and final match. We're definitely going to have to be using the Flamingo. Moving on to our final match, and it is time to use the Flamingo. I tried using it in match number one. Lava Plume just got the best of us. Tried using it in match number two, and I just had to swap it for Ndidi. If we wouldn't have swapped it for Ndidi, we probably could have lost that match, but I didn't feel like risking the match over the Flamingo. But in our third and final match, we're looking to use it, and honestly, I might just lead it. They got Calyrex, they got Oranguru, they got Torkoal, they got Cinnamore, a lot of different options. Honestly, I think don't want to lead the flamingo so i'm not gonna do it because i think they they're gonna lead incineroar so i think leading in td is just so perfect for this we can imprison trick room we can stop fake outs a lot of different options for us so i could do that and maybe just go into the horse again try to set up a substitute if we can and really just go from there i like that so we're gonna do that we're gonna bring flamingo in the back end and then last but not least incineroar going to be solid we're going into all right so flamingo you got to come out here. we have to pick up a win with him not a win we just have to use him up a little bit but this team so far been thriving out especially shadow Rock and Kyler. just such a good pokemon especially paired up with the pokemon that we have being able to substitute being able to fake out being able to fuse follow me just a lot of different options to help where calorix really win us matches let's see who they end up leading here you got cooking it is going to be calorix and Ursh. okay the Calyx Urshfu will come out here. This is, a, this is a little scary. I mean, I could go for the Follow Me, which might be in our best interest. I could go Terrastalization here. I could Terra, which might be my best bet. I think we Terra Calyrex, go into Draining Kiss into Urshfu, and then just Imprison Trick Room. I liked it the best. Because I'm scared of Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is terrifying. I'm going to go in prison here. I am going to thrasalize you. And I'm just going to go into Draining Kiss. You could be going for Sucker Punch. But, I mean, are you really going to go for Sucker Punch? Maybe. Instead of Sucker... I could set up a sub. But, you know what? We're just going to play it safe. We're just going to go into Draining Kiss. You could be going for Sucker Punch. I could make that read and just go into a substitute. But we're just going to play it safe with the Terra Draining Kiss. That would have been... That would be a great read. I think they are going to do that. But we're playing it safe here. We are going to play it safe. So we end up Terrastalizing early on here. They're going to Terrastalize as well. This seems like a Dark Urshfu kind of play. Or this might be Calyrex, right? Yeah, it's going to be Calyrex to get rid of that Psychic Typing, which is fair. Go into Straight Fire and try to pop Trick Room. I mean, we imprison this up. We can really get cooking. We can really get cooking. The Draining Kiss now flies. Are you Sashed? Is the real question. No Sucker Punch comes out of here. You're not Sashed. We can say bye-bye to you and just imprison Trick Room. Bye bye to you in prison trick room. And you go from there. So that's solid. That's solid for us. That's real solid for us. Now you go for Glacial Lance. Not bad. Not a bad call for them. Not a bad call at all. Not a bad call at all. So if I go for a Draining Kiss here, I should be able to get back enough HP to survive a Glacial Lance, right? Oranguru is going to come out here. Honestly, Astro Barrage might just be your play. Has no effect on the Ranguru. Can do some nice damage on the Calyrex. I think I'd rather do damage on the Calyrex, right? Or if I get back HP here, we can survive a Glacial Lance. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to go for this. We're already plus one. So I'm going to follow me this slot. We're going to have Indeedee die out here. Drain the Kiss should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. But it seems like you're instructing here, which might be tough. Because then you can pick up a double KO. You can easily pick up a double KO. We probably should run for Astro Barrage. So I get back some HP. Are you instructing? You are. Oh, follow me actually takes instruction away. So are you using follow me again? Is that what's going on? Are we doubling down with follow me? Lovely. <laughs> we double down with follow me. That's so funny. So he's just looking to instruct Glacial Lancer. He's going to do it here. My Calyrex is going to survive, which is great news here. Um, I can wide guard here. I can wide guard or I can just throw a close combat if I want to. But we're just going to go into Flamigo here. Good thing we used follow me there. This double instruct would have been a terrible situation for us. But now we get to go into Flamigo. Um, sitting here with Flamigo, like I said, I could go into wide guard if I wanted. I could easily go into wide guard. But I think just going into close combat and Astro Barrage might be in our best interest just to try to KO this Calyrex. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. 
So out comes Ash Barrage, how much damage he's doing. Should bring him down into yellow. Yep, beautiful. We get a crit on top of that, too. And close combat should finish him off. So Flamigo getting into action in match number three. Getting after it. We love our defense. We still have focus Ash, which is great. We stop Trick Room. I mean, you could actually pop Trick Room with a Wrangler, which is kind of scaring me. You could do that. You could pop Trick Room with a Wrangler. And you don't choose to do that. That's fine by me. I'm surprised at that. I'm surprised. No Trick Room comes out there. Maybe you're trying to do it with Calyrex that turn. That's fine by me, because now you're going to go into your final Pokemon. It is going to be the Torkoal. Who I think we should just Y Guard here, right? I think we should go into Wide Guard and then we should go into an Astro Barrage. Torkoals are our only threat. And we'll Wide Guard, we'll play this one safe. But yo, match number three gonna go to us. And we're gonna grab ourselves another perfect record. Is this back to back perfect records? It is, because we 3 0 with the Pyroar. That's awesome. That is awesome. And did we go 3 0 in the Diglett video? No, we went 2 1. We went 2 1. But still, I'll take back to back 3 0 perfect records all day. Flamigo pops a wide guard to protect us from anything that Torkoal wants to use. Astro Barrage might be able to pick up the KO onto Torkoal. Honestly, maybe not. This seems kind of bulky. And it brings him down to about 2 HP. And he goes for an eruption. So wide guard working perfectly. You're probably going for instruct wide guard here. And it's just not working good for you. Wide guard just doing you dirty. That's why I said it is one of the best support moves in all of Regulation G. He has a pop in a trick room. Hmm. Hmm, that's looking scary now. Do I still pop a wide guard? I feel like I still have to pop a wide guard. Does Fink go first? I don't think Fink goes first. I was going to say, we could use Fink. I still have Incineroar, which is good. Um, I could swap into Incineroar if I want to. Or do I just double attack here? I still have Vest. Um, I think our best play would just be... Do we even go in the wide guard here? Because they can read Wide Guard and just take out Calyrex. I think we just attack the, the Torkoal. I, I, I don't think they go into... I'm just going to protect Calyrex. I don't think they go into an Eruption. I think they go into like an Earth Power or something. Right, let's see. Yep, Weather Ball. Can I soak this? I don't soak this. But I keep Calyrex for a turn, which is pretty good. I keep Calyrex for a turn. He's going to instruct here, which we end up just protecting. So that was smarter for him to go with that. So now we can go into Heat Waves and all that good stuff. Um, honestly, I might have jinxed ourselves with the 3-0 perfect record. I might have jinxed ourselves. But I mean, Incineroar is a great Pokemon to have back here. A really solid Pokemon for me to have. Plus, Fake Out's ready to go. Fake Out is ready to go. I don't even know if Orangaro has any attacking moves besides Foul Play. Right? It showed Foul Play, but that's about it. So I intimidate up, I can fake out and finish off the Torkoal, which I am going to go for. Obviously, I think I have to. And then just go for a Draining Kiss if we can into the Rangaroo slot. Let's see what he ends up doing. He ends up protecting Torkoal. Smart call. Smart call. Let's see what a Rangaroo ends up doing. Curious to see what a Rangaroo's got cooking. So I can get back some more HP with Draining Kiss. That would be nice. That'd be lovely for us. He's going to Encore me in a fake out. Oh, no! Encore me in the fake out. That is not good. That is not good. And Draining Kiss doesn't KO. Oh, man. Encore me. That's a smart play. All right. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Two. I could protect this turn easily. Um, We obviously have to spam fake out for a little bit. And do I set up a sub this turn? I feel like he thinks I'm going to protect. Do I set up a sub? Did Sun fade? I think Sun Fade. I might set up a sub. I might set up a sub. I'm gonna set up a sub here. I am so setting up a sub. I'm so setting up a sub. I think you're going after it in Cinnamon thinking I'm protecting with the Earth Power. Now you go for Weather Ball here. There's Soul. Did Sun Fade? Sun did not fade? No, dude, I should have checked it. It looked like it faded for a second. And now we're gonna lose this match. Actually, we might not lose this match. He's going to instruct Weather Ball again. I should just protect the Calyrex. Play that one smart. I thought Sun faded, though. Anyway, I thought they were going to go after Incineroar here, thinking I was protecting. So we're able to soak up these Weather Balls pretty well. We have to go for Fake Out for one more turn, correct? Is that a correct statement? 
two more turns. Oh no. If you have earth power, we are so screwed. We are so screwed. I jinxed this. I really jinxed this. I said we were going to go 3-0. We're just to lose this match. Yeah, you got earth power. Good game. Good game. I really jinxed it. Honestly, I mean, we're soaking this. I wish I wish we had protect, but I mean, we're encored into fake out for the next turn, too. Hurts the soul, man, to lose this match. See, that's why I should just keep my mouth shut. Just don't say a word next time, jeans. Sunlight now fades. No more trick room. I have to go for another fake out. And he can just instruct again. No problem. So GG's. Man. Jinxing myself. I, I I do this. I do this too often. I feel like I always say, hey, we won this match. And then I just end up losing it. Tough news on our end. Real tough news. He ends up popping another trick room. Which, I mean, you should just instruct that you would have won. But I mean, this doesn't help because now your Torkoal is slower. My Encore ends. But you can just Encore me again. I'm out of here. I'm running this one. Hey, I'll still take a 2-1 winning record all day. Shouldn't have jinxed myself in this third and final match. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We showcased Flamigo in that third and final match, but I feel like we showcased his team to its fullest potential. Shadow Rider Kylox was absolutely amazing, especially in match number one and in match number two. And then match number three, that one's on me. That one is on me. Jinxing myself, not thinking the plays fully through, and just playing at the full battles. That goes to show, whenever you're playing a Pokemon match, always just go full throttle the whole way through. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.